What's up, everybody? Thank you guys for tuning back into my channel at BunnyD93. So, as I told you guys in the last video, probably go check it out over here from the haul video of um, Body Central, Rainbow, Ross, and Route 21. What I was going to show you in that video, but I said I'm not going to, I'm going to try to not make my videos longer than like 20-something minutes. You know what I mean? Because it just doesn't need to be like that. But, um... I'm going to do a review today on this wig that I have on my head, which is the Janet Collection Mamma Mia wig, and I have it in red, as you guys know. So I have had it on for a week, and I'm going to just give you the pros and cons, what I've experienced, and what I like, I guess. So, yeah, here we go. So, and, um, oh, and I'll do my whatever I'm wearing. What am I trying to say? my outfit of the day today um, at the end so this is the Janet collection natural super flow deep part lace wig premium synthetic fiber invisible deep part lace and it's hand tied so I, yeah I don't know about that okay I guess it is alright then so you guys already watched me cut the lace um, it says new Futura safe up to 360 I haven't put any heat on this uh, hair I haven't put any water on this hair I wanted to see what it was gonna do by itself without water so this is the wig Janet collection natural super flow deep part lace wig and I have it in red and this is in mama Mia okay so this was 19 it was 19 something I may have to check out the video is it 1999 or 1995? So yeah, the wig by itself was not over twenty dollars. That's all I got to say. Mhm. Mm so uh, it gives you curl nine directions. I haven't done that. I don't really want to put any heat to this head because I feel like if I put heat to this hair, since it's got some synthetic fiber in there, it's gonna lose the little curl pattern that's already um. This, that has already been produced in here and once I put heat to it I feel like it's gonna go eh. what did you say? and I said that so um I'm trying to think of something else I haven't washed it I don't wash my wigs when I get them either some people do that some people wash their weave unless it's like virgin or something like that but um this isn't it I don't wash it and even if it was a wig I wouldn't wash it but if it was like tracks or something then I would wash it this part here, I put some makeup on it. I don't know if you guys can see, like in the natural lighting, we're good. It looks like an actual part. But right here, I don't know if y'all can see it very well, but I put the makeup, this MAC concealer, this is the liquid concealer, and I put on NC45, because I told y'all sometimes I had to mix myself until they found, well, until this dude, uh, Dustin, hopefully that's his name, found my actual color, which is a 7.5. I put that in the lace part to actually make a um, bigger part. And then I took my makeup remover wipes and just pulled some of that. I don't like that song. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> I pulled some of that makeup out. It always wants to play when I'm doing y'all video. <laughs> So I took the makeup remover wipes and went on the sides because if it gets messy, that's just what I use. And it did nothing to the hair, but I kept that makeup in there. I didn't put any powder in there. It's just the liquid, so it's still there. That's good. Um, the only, well, it's not the only, the con about this hair. This hair, if you don't sit it correctly or start positioning it on your head a certain way so that it can start forming around your face um you will be scratching at it all day because you're trying to move it around and fix it so you can get it off your you know off that little flat part of your ear where the skin is where no hair grows you're trying to get those little pointy pieces of hair because this hair is actually it actually it doesn't hurt but y'all know what i mean like when hair is layered there are sharp edges because you're not cutting like this you're cutting like this so it's actually more pointy so if you don't sit it directly the way it needs to be on your head you're gonna be like ooh, ooh, oh my god so yeah 
um the lace on this hair is hard as crap um it really really hurts it feels like a straw yeah i'm looking at a straw right now and it feels like a straw if so i have to like sit it back off of my edges i won't sit it right here i mean i wasn't gonna do that anyway but i'm just saying don't sit it because that i don't know if y'all can see it this hurts see i don't even know if y'all can hear but that hurts that little lace so i'll sit it like right here and to be honest with you this hair has a little piece of black roots in it like i told y'all in the last video it doesn't just start off as colored hair it actually has black roots so i don't really care that you can see my edges because to me it makes it look more natural because if you just got a straight bald hairline it's gonna be like uh you all right or did you like get somebody to shave that down like that and i mean my edges on the side i'm not gonna cut my sideburns i like them sometimes if they come all the way down here we need to do something about that you know what i'm saying so yeah but um instead of me pulling it down like this i really don't do it like that anymore i really don't care that you can see that because you can see this you know what i mean so it actually makes me feel more natural looking to me um because when i do this that hair is like sticking in the side of my neck and in the side of my um cheek and into my ears and it it really hurts and you're gonna get irritated and your ears gonna get all hot and bothered and it's gonna be like get this crap off so the other thing about this wig is the construction is amazing on the inside you can't see any holes in my head nothing you're not gonna see nothing the back of this is amazing it automatically even if I raise it up a little bit it's still gonna cover the kitchen and the kitchen's back door if you get what I'm saying so um let me turn around and show y'all the back of it hopefully y'all can see that's the back it covers that even if I lift it up a little bit and pull this forward so we're good but my real real pet peeve that i have to do i have to cut these adjustable straps out of here because they're irritating the crap out of me and sometimes when i pull the wig down they're sticking out and i have to push them back in there so i'm just gonna eliminate that all together the only 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 real con is if your head is small you're gonna have a problem of positioning because like let's be honest it's made to go in the middle this part is actually right here. It's made to be in the middle of your head. No one wants to have a part on the middle of their head looking like a butt, okay? Like, that's not cute. Unless, that's just what you want to do, okay? Yeah. I will scoop this wig over. Therefore, that means the ear-to-ear -ear lace is lower and higher on one side. So which actually irritates your ear because now you have to find your ear and pull some hair behind your ear and pull some forward and then pull more hair behind the ear and more hair forward on one side the real pet peeve i have with doing that and having to switch it to the side is that that lace that's at the end that you had to cut out around your ears it hurts like crap on the top of your ear that really really hurts it feels like the straw is like sticking you in your ear so what I have learned to do is to just raise it up even though I feel like it's sitting directly on top of my braid the edge of the wig is sitting directly on top of this braid that I have right here because y'all seen my braids you can't see it because I asked Steve I was like can you see that braid because then we would just have to just do something with this wig I had to take some razors and go through on there but just by lifting it up if you have a small head like me you're fine and it's gonna sit on your head correctly and all that hair won't be pinching and sticking at your perimeter around your ear and all that um other than that what i have to do with my edges yes i will slick my edges down because when you're moving this thing around and sitting it on your edges i don't sit the wig cap on my edges because i need you to see some of my edges so when you're moving it around you're gonna get fuzzies so you need to either gel your hair down 
are you need to put like some water on your edges and then um get you a silk wrap and let it set because your edges need to be your edges need to be stuck to your head because if you got a kitchen and it's cooking everybody gonna see because they're gonna be like your kitchen cooking but this hair red they have black and kinky this hair is red and straight and curly like a fresh pine you know what i'm saying so that's the only thing with that you need to keep your edges um like i told y'all i didn't put any oil i don't have any um hairspray well yes i do the only hairspray i have is the um dang it what's that stuff called that pump it up spritz the first one i have it in the white one not in the not in the stronghold i just had two spritz on the top and two on the back and it's still movable so that's what I like. I didn't spray a lot of that stuff because I didn't want it to hold that hard. I just wanted to hold what I had at the moment. Um, no water, no oil, and I haven't put heat on this hair. And this is what it still looks like. Still got these curls in it like this. Um, I guess like maybe if I wear it more than a month, I may try to put water in it. But I really don't plan on putting water in it because I, like I told y'all, all I do is just back comb it. Just like that and then just pick this out for however much I want I have not touched the back of my head since the um since I put this wig on my head so yeah that's it that's really really it um let me see if y'all can see the side and the top and this is the deep lace it actually stops right there and I'll show y'all like how it says right there it stops like that and here's this side so I have it in red I'm probably going to get it in in the black and are in like that blonde because they have this is what I like about this wig instead of like the mommy wigs they don't have the colors that I want because I either want like the platinum blonde or the red the Janet collection has all the colors that I like so there's a better color color selection let me say for this wig and it's a better construction from what I've been seeing of the reviews on YouTube Instead of it just being um, just being like the lace right here, there's a bit of construction of this part right here. Because even before when I just set it on, it looked like a part, but I wanted it to be a bigger part so you can see the color in the part. Because it's fine with me because I know, you know, it's a wig. But other than that, this bad baby is a 10. The only thing I don't like is the adjustable straps in here that I'm going to cut out. And that my head is small, so the lace actually sticks unless I adjust it a certain way. Those are the only two cons. Other than that, this thing is bad. And y'all know it. Y'all know what that was. So, but yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you guys my outfit of the day. And that'll be it. That's my review, you guys. So, I may come back within two to three weeks and see what's still going on. And I may try to put water in it. But if I don't feel like putting water in it, it's not going to happen. I'm, I really don't want to mess nothing up on this hair. Because it's just so cute. So, And I've been getting compliments from out of every which way I've been going. So, yeah. Um, so, all I got on is this Relic watch. And I got this from somewhere. It says Fine Gold. 999.9 nine, nine nine, pretty girls bank I yeah I know I think it's from the Z it was a little set and I got it in the earrings as well um, my face is just the Mac uh, what's that skin finish natural skin finish prout powder I cannot talk today powder in um dark and then I just have on the Mac prep and prime I'm gonna have to do a review on that too because this stuff is good the Mac prep and prime um priming the lip primer, whatever it's called, we're gonna have to get it. And I have on politely pink. So that's all that is, and just some 
little white in the tear ducts and got on a yellow tank top and these pants are from the beauty supply store I think I got them for $10.99 I can't remember but they're high waisted got the three button detailing and I have on my cheetah print shoes Let me get my freaking leg up there. So, cheetah print shoes. And I got those shoes from the beauty supply store as well. And I just got them for $10. And they have been lasting for up to a year about now. Or maybe a little bit under that. But, yeah. So, that's it you guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I hope you liked it. Hope you like my review. I think it was a good review. Yeah, because this is some good hair. Really is. I haven't been getting any tangles, no naps. I don't comb it. I just finger comb it. And with finger combing it, I haven't gotten any naps or anything. So that's it, you guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. So read your Romans 116. I will be back at you guys with some more videos coming out to you soon. So, love you guys. Bye.